I guess I now have to identify that I am a visible minority. <laughs> Fam, why am I knowing that you're just two weeks pregnant? Like, what is it? Even in the house with you, as sons and daughters. <laughs> Did I ask you? I don't want to touch you. Like, just allow it to go very rarely. Like, um, you know, be like that. How are we doing? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be talking about five culture shocks I've experienced since I moved to Canada. And this video was inspired because I'd gone for a book launch. This book, Lola and the Broken Ladder, an Immigrant's Journey and Resolve. And it just talks about, you know, even from the thinking phase or the planning phase for wanting to immigrate into a new country and then the different experiences and then integrating fully into a different culture, the ups, the downs, the expectations, the realities and all of that. So this book was written by Uduak E. Basse. She is a marketing professional and I know her from church. She's also our youth group leader where I currently serve. And she had like different people show up to her book launch. And um, one of the questions was, what was your culture shock? Also, Marina Isiri was our guest speaker. Okay, Marina is a YouTuber who was just named as one of Canada's top 100 black female voices to look out for. And I'll link her channel here. She just talks about life in Canada, majorly in Saskatchewan, but she is a voice for life in Canada in general and just easing into um, a different country, considering that Japan now is a buzzword. So yeah, one of the questions that was asked in the book launch was culture shocks and people were sharing different stories. And I just thought, yeah, actually, there's a couple culture shocks I would like to share. My first one was, aside the weather, which is like glaringly obvious, like now two degrees, I'm like, that is warm. But like when I first came, to, I came even in spring. So like it wasn't that cold, but I was like, fam, it's cold. I was probably coming into the last um, couple falls of snow. Um, I don't even think I really saw snow. By the time I landed in um, Saskatchewan, I don't think there was snow, but I can't remember honestly. But anyways, the first thing was calling your elders by name. I'm a Yoruba girl. Everything is air, even if they're like, you know, a little bit older than you. So like, I was just surprised that I had to call my prof who was like 55, Mark, Donald, or like a grandma, Cordelia, just call her by name. And I was like, okay. So that was actually a big adjustment for me because typically you're wanting to say Masa, but like you didn't have to do that for, um, you know, people living in Canada. So, but I mean, the ones that are from Nigeria that are living in Canada, you still have to, let's be honest, <laughs> you still have to, but like other people know, um, the second culture shock for me was that I was black. I come from Nigeria where everybody's black, you know, like I'm not the minority. Came we moved into a different culture and I was like, I'm actually minority. I think I started to get more awareness as it was talked about in class. I was like, oh, okay. I guess I'm black then. Um, but that was something that I never really thought about while I was back in Nigeria. It didn't cross my mind, honestly, until I moved. And I feel like there's been more and more conversations with things that have happened around the world that were like, okay, there is a need to speak about things like that that leave um, people of different races feeling more marginalized than other people. Yeah. Um, but I'll just also add that I typically don't like to think about who oh, I'm black and then, you know, have that make me feel inferior. So I'm uh, 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 not about that life. But anyway, so that was something that was like, oh, okay. I guess I now have to identify that I am a visible minority. But <laughs> technically, yeah, so for me then it was just like, it wasn't something that I was used to or something that I would define myself by. Number three was the taxes. <sighs> You go to the grocery store and they tell you that um, your thing is $50 and then I add extra. Why don't you just tell me from the beginning that this is how much I'm supposed to be paying? Like I've already budgeted $20 in my head or $50. You're not telling me that there's not extra on top of it. Bam, that taxes will shake you. So when you're going to shop, shop with taxes in mind because it's not just the price that's there. There is tax. Federal task. I must say task. 
federal tax and provincial tax yep tax is gonna move you another thing is small talk like you can meet somebody for 10 minutes and know their life history if you are not careful actually even if you are careful you can know their life history you can know that they are just two weeks pregnant fam why am i knowing that you're just two weeks pregnant like what is it you know everything about them you know their family history you know the exes you and i was just like this feels like a lot of information tmi in such a short period of time i need to build a relationship with you i need to kind of know you before i start to tell you anything about my life but um you know be like that and the other thing is um dogs and cats living in the house with you as sons and daughters <laughs> Because where I'm coming from, dogs are outside. They don't live in the place. So that was actually a big shocker for me. I like the care, the dedication, the like, you know, the love. And I was just like, okay, this this is different. The only thing I don't like is when a dog is not on a leash. I tell him it's friendly. Did I ask you? I don't want to touch you. Like, just allow it to go you don't have i don't care whether it is well trained or not i don't want to know i don't want to know but like yeah so that was also a culture shock and then the last thing i'll talk about is the quietness fam honking is like the exception not the rule like barely barely would you hear honks very rarely like whew, yeah so those those were like really real culture shocks for me um and yeah i'd like to hear yours so if you've lived abroad for a bit or lived away from the country you were born and you've moved from the country that you were raised um let me know what culture shocks was for you and tell me what country you're in and what that looks like moving and then experiencing some of those differences in culture yeah don't forget to check out my other videos on this channel featuring things about nursing things about the christian faith um just really me sharing my life as i am growing evolving getting better in things making mistakes and yeah just so we all learn and grow together i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.